What's up, everyone? Welcome to some Team Fortress Classic. A Team Fortress Classic Beer League Week 8 on Canal Zone 2. I'm here with my co-caster on his stream tonight, Repairman. Hi. Hi, Greg. How do? Do, do good. Hmm. Pleased to hear that. What are we here Sounds to do tonight? Sounds like uh, we're, we're hopefully going to cast a TFC match. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. That sounds like we're once again running into some, some roster issues uh, Staffing, this evening. Though. Yes. So tonight it's going to be free agents plus faultless against... TNS and the RGs. And we already know that the, Ar the the Argentinian team is just done. They formally disbanded, right? Yes, that is correct. And that's a bummer. It is a bummer. They were a fun team to uh, to play with, and they were they were doing pretty well too. But it just sounds like I don't know if it was interest or if it was real life stuff, kind of all of a sudden coming back and getting in the way. But they are. No longer with us. Rip. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad. They're like a, a cool shot of life in the community because they have a different... They have a whole different take on the game in many ways. What was that um, that screen that 2K1 did with them? Oh, no. What was the name of that map? Was it Destroy? Yeah, Destroy. Yeah, so 2K1 randomly decided to do a scrim with the RGs and they said to choose like whatever map we wanted. Uh, we did one on Mortality, and then we chose Destroy as the other one, thinking, like, okay, this is a map that neither one of us has probably played very much, and it'll be kind of fun, not realizing that Destroy is basically the Argentinian open fire. And we got <laughs> fucking wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't close. Yeah. Or was fun. Brutal. I remember I dropped in, and I think round two of it, and you guys were... You guys were ready to be out of there, I could tell. We were pretty despondent. That is <laughs> very accurate. So although we don't have full teams, we do have a server. So if there any, is anyone in the stream that's watching right now and does want to play by chance, uh, if you're in the Beer League Discord, um, Tell someone that you're here because I think both sides are looking for one or two people mm -hmm. at the moment. Okay. The server has plenty of slots in it. I wasn't planning on getting my kill feed hooked up, but I think because we're having a short delay, I might take a moment and get that set up. Which literally means grabbing my work laptop from the other side of the room. So one sec. Relay. The vibes are not strong with the beer league this week. They really haven't been. You know, we had our on. match last night where the COVID-19 people all of a sudden just kind of flaked out. Um, yeah. We did have one guy who played and actually played very well. Uh, I don't know his full name. It was Red something or other, but he did an Red. awesome job. Red Pill or something like that? Yeah, something like that. I don't well, yeah, no, I don't think job. it was red pill. Um, maybe it was. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was fun to play with him. Too bad the uh, the rest of the team wasn't here to enjoy it with him because I think we had a good time. I, well, I think most people had a good time except for me. <laughs> You're having a good time until the round two. I was, when they, I was a little crabby. Yeah, they, they changed their strategy to directly fuck with you specifically. Well, I don't know if I would go that far, but <laughs> it sure felt like it. But anyway, so 
Yeah. Canal zone two, CP map, one of Greg and my favorites. Um, we were both very, very big fans of CP maps back in the day. Sure. So it's it's enjoyable to uh, to get to play one these days. Yeah, I don't know what it was. For some reason, MH was just good at those maps. Mm -hmm. And because we were good at them, I liked them. I think it like went like that for me. I think that's a very, you know, that's a very consistent take on CP maps, is that if you happen to be on a team that can play them and play them well, you will like them. Um, and if you're on a team that gets completely steamrolled, you will absolutely hate them. You'll think they're the worst map ever. Uh, there really isn't much middle ground. I was actually looking back through um, old match logs from MH and a couple other uh, clans that I had played in and trying to go back through and see how many matches I'd actually played on a different CP map, mm -hmm. uh, different CP maps, and how many matches I was involved with that I lost. And I think I saw two losses. There was a CZ2 against the Collective yep. that we lost. We actually played against the Collective two or three times on CZ2, and they only got the best of us the one time. Yeah. Um, those guys put up a good fight. They did. They were very they strong absolutely on those did. maps. They really were. Um, and then we also lost Pipe Zone to Final Vision, FV, at one Ooh, point. That hurts. That was a close one, though. That was a, a very, very close one, and that was probably FV pretty close to the peak, uh, so mm -hmm. I didn't feel too, too bad about it. Um, I will say of the, the different CP maps, Pipe Zone's probably my least favorite. Mm -hmm. um, but nonetheless, CP map is a CP map. It was a lot of fun to play. Yeah, Pipe Zone's a bit of a weird one. Yeah, it, ha it has some is, neat uh, mechanics. It does have some neat mechanics with the, uh, you know, the the quad damage on the all cap and mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Uh, that was that was always interesting. Uh, also, a little bit of a history for MH on Pipe Zone. That was when we that was the map on which we won our first and only like big title. That's right, TFL One A, baby. That's right. We beat <laughs> Jello in the finals. Um, and what was probably a pretty big upset, I think the week before that, we'd also beat AO, the first incarnation of Apocalyptic Order. And we, uh, sorry, I'm just reading the fucking nerds comment. Who in said the, uh, that? The, the name's chat. in Thank black, that's, I can't see it. That's, uh, that's one of my real life friends. It's, oh, wow. It's beef magic. Yeah. Thanks uh, for the support, dude. Yeah. Love the support. The hometown support. Yeah, very, very much so. <laughs> Anyway, I can't remember what I was saying. Thanks for interrupting. Talking about our I'm big sure title win against Jello important. on Pipe Zone. Oh, yeah. We had beat Apocalyptic Order before that, and it was the first match that they had actually lost. They went on like a 10 or 11 or 12 game winning streak when they first started, and we beat them. We bopped them. Out of nowhere. Yeah, we bopped them. Um, and then we went on to beat Jello there. And what was a very, very close, very, very close match. Uh, we won by 24 points, and they were threatening an all cap for quite a bit of time. So that could have gone anyway. Okay. Well, we got uh, we got three gamers in the server so far. So, is uh, any TNS people actually starting to show up here? I see Commander. Oh, okay. Yes, we do have uh, we do have commander coming in. So maybe we will actually get them start to to file in the server here. And then I also <laughs> see someone whose tag I can't read. So that must be someone from the other team. But anyway, just uh, you know, kind of continuing on the the talk about CZ two. Oh, but I'm also got Genorti messaging me. Sounds like he is uh, looking to potentially ring here as well. Hold oh, on, I'm just yeah. going to minimize and uh, send him over to someone. Relay. Enemy has flag. 
Okay. All right, the kill feed is up. Those of y'all who are used to my casts, you won't be seeing the Twitch chat in the overlay. Technical limitations from streaming to Repairman's channel. Everything else should be working. So anyway, a little bit of a preview for tonight. We have TNS, who will be playing with some ringers. Um, how many and who they are, I have no idea. To be determined, uh, hopefully. And then they will be playing against It's My Other Team's Fault and some of the other free agent ringers. Um, as far as what to expect here, TNS, a lot of uh, old res members on that team. I expect that they're going to play something very, very similar to, to what we did last night um, with soldiers and medics mixed in. Um, probably not any NGs tonight unless they feel like trolling, which, you know, TNS is always down for trolling, so we might see one anyway. And then they'll be going up against... Uh, it's my other team's fault, as I mentioned. And I don't know how much experience a lot of their players have, but I also know they have Dosebok on roster. And Dosebok is... Uh, no stranger to CP maps himself. We'll True. probably be telling them exactly what to run. Uh, so I think we're going to end up by, by seeing a little bit of a an even matchup tonight in terms of strategy. I think they're both going to be informed enough to uh, to run a, a competent strategy. I don't expect we again. I don't expect we'll see any engineers tonight. Um, personal opinion here, but uh, if you're running an engineer on CZ2, you are already basically giving up and losing. Yes. And you shouldn't do it. Um, Is it ever but, worthwhile to run an NG on the home point? I don't think so. Like, for me, personally, running the Engineer on the home point is the equivalent of turtling in CTF. Hmm. Like, you maybe you do it if you have the lead and you are looking to prevent that all cap from, you know, in the last two or three minutes of the match or something like that. Mm -hmm. But other than, otherwise, no, I don't think there's any purpose to doing it. I think you're actually just hurting yourself. You should always be pushing. Um, and if you're not pushing, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. If you're not pushing, you're getting pushed, essentially. Exactly. Exactly. Like the, the, the key is to cut off the flag runners as quickly as you possibly can. And the closer you are to their base, the quicker you can intercept those flag runners. If you're allowing them that much free reign to, to get all the way back to your, your home point, you're Again, you've already kind of lost. You're kind of missing the point of uh, what you should be doing as a, you know, defender or a non-flag running class on CZ. Yeah, maybe that's what I like about about command point maps is that there's this there's this style of gameplay that they promote where you're always pushing forward that you don't really mm -hmm. get to see in CTF most times. Um, CTF is, is you're, you're either playing towards the flag and it doesn't always make sense to stop and frag, right? Sometimes you just got to play to the objective if you're on offense yeah. and on defense, um, you're, you're basically trying to, to, to control an area. Mm -hmm. um, whereas when you're playing these command point maps, if, if you're not running flags, the zone that you're trying to control is is it, first it, it moves as the map moves. Yes. So first control the area around your base, then control you know the outside points, then control the midpoints, then try to control their home point. It's uh, it kind of gives a a little bit more of dynamism. I think it actually makes it a little bit harder to cast. I mean, we'll see. The how ebb that and goes. the flow, the ebb and the flow for CP maps definitely is is very unique. Um. But yeah, you know, you're you're talking about the ultimate goal. Wow, that's loud. Um, the ultimate goal, you know, where you should be pushing up to eventually what you want to control is literally the enemy respawn. Like mm -hmm. that that is your objective. If you can push up far enough to lock them in their base, then that's what you do. Um, that's the way you win. And obviously that very, very rarely happens. I have seen it happen a couple times. Um, I don't know, you didn't play this map greg but we 
original MH, uh, one of our first matches, we had played Clan Poor Sports, I believe it was. Okay. Uh, on the original Canal Zone. And in doing so, we beat them 900 points to about 100. <laughs> I remember seeing that total. That's got to yes. be the highest match score ever on Canal Zone, right? It's gotta it be. probably is. It probably is. Um, <laughs> 10, 11, 12 all caps uh, in like a single round. Yikes. Uh, That's like it was, stuff. It was intense. It was pretty intense. Um, <laughs> I think uh, Das to Silencer, he played Demo Man. Right. Yeah that game and he just had free reign of their base he was just constantly jumping in and spawn camping and getting into the command center i think pretty sure he got a couple deaths in there too which i think yeah. is every demo man's wet dream even though it doesn't really accomplish that much especially when you're already getting beaten by 500 points right um but it still feels good so the the debt on the command on the command center for canal, canal zone the original canal zone og canal zone uh that it, it gets it, it resets all of the enemies held command points, right? Is that what happens? Yes, that's what it does. Okay. Are you also floating here in like an end of match screen like I am? I am. Okay. That's quite zen. Feeling good right now. That's a word for it. So while we're just waiting for this to come together, I'm going to pull up the record of the beer league. Um, definitely the record of these teams means a lot less in season two than in season one. Cause of the format shift, right? Mm -hmm. But this is week eight and we do have playoffs next week. We do have playoffs. That is correct. So let me see if I have an OBS scene to show that off. I believe I do. Um, do to do, do. So if you are still floating, Greg, I believe they exec uh, they executed the config file. So that is probably why you may just have to go back through and okay redo the password. Okay, good call. Yeah, I'll reconnect. But yeah. Okay. So. The standings for times match results standings. Here we go. So Fallis are actually the, uh, the the league leaders. They are, which is a little surprising. Not because I think they're you know not good players. I think they've got some very very good players on the roster. Uh, yeah, but totally. just you know with with stack with always, uh, you would have thought that maybe one of those teams would have been up there towards the top but um stack it always middle of the pack right now right and then we've got it's my other team's fault and ost kind of sitting alone at the uh the top two spots right now so yeah mm -hmm. a little bit of a, a little bit interesting how this shook out so for the playoffs do you know what the format is i had not paid any attention to it uh it's going to be i think 4v4 mm -hmm. um I think 44. it's moving to kind of a traditional four v four, yeah. So you're That's not going to be teamed move. up with another with another game, uh, another team, I should right. say. And is it how many teams are getting into it? All of them. Okay. So we're going to have a twelve team layoff. Yes, the standings are made up, and the points don't matter. Are is it going to be seated from the standings? Uh, I'm assuming that it is going to be seeded in some way. And with six or with 12 teams, that's how many teams we have active right now? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I would. That includes COVID. I, I guess we don't know if they're COVID. Dead. We, we don't know otherwise. Well, I talked to Coco last night afterwards, and, you know, he had apologized for people not being there and said he wasn't really sure what happened. It's the first time they've had any sort of attendance issue. So I'm going to consider that that was last night was just probably a, just a one off. Fluke. Yeah, all a right, fluke. All right. That's good um, to hear. Maybe the unfamiliarity with the map had something to do with people not showing uh, up. Uh. Um, 
but uh, I would assume with 12 teams that there would be someone earning a buy. Uh, that, that seems to be really the only right. way that you would make that work. The math doesn't quite add up otherwise. Yeah. Well, we'll but I guess we'll see. see. I do, I'm sure I, it's written down in the rules document. I'm just not going to right. look through it right now. I do have to say, uh, uh, coming back to doing 4v4 for the playoffs feels like a little bit of like a like a reversion on yeah. the ethos we've seen come out of this league in Season 2. Mm -hmm. um, definitely a turn towards the, this more casual, more pickup-like format where we get more even matches, but matches where the result doesn't seem to matter as much. So, mm -hmm. because... Uh, when you pair teams together, the result is never a good indication of of either of the teams individually, right? Yes. Yeah, I think that's right. And Prunes is in the chat saying that uh, she thinks the top two get buys. And yeah, that would be okay. my assumption too. With 12 teams making it into the, the playoffs, um, top two getting a buy makes sense. Right. All right, let's flip over to the game cam. We've got Faultless and uh, the free agents lining up on blue. TNS and the Argies lining up on red. Let's see what we're doing here for rosters. As you mentioned, Dosepak, is he a free agent or is he on Faultless? He plays for, for Faultless, yeah. Okay. We have Clumy stepping in to help plug the gaps on that team as well. Hog. Hog is, is that E-dubs? Is that who that is? No, no, no. That's Doom Piggy. Oh, of course. Makes sense. Um, and I have worse than bad luck. The one and the only. We'll have to watch him closely. Um, big hopes for I have worse than bad luck. Uh, a rising star in the TFC scene. Yeah. And uh, watching the, the stream here, Greg, I think you may have to minimize my perspective. We've also been experiencing some technical difficulties on our end with some of the uh, the capture stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, I blame Comcast. Um, I'm pretty sure it's their fault. It looks okay on my end, Repair. Um, as long as it looks okay on mine, I'm going to keep it up. Okay. And uh, It looks a little uh, slideshowy on the uh, the actual stream itself. Oh, well, my connection to Twitch is pretty solid looking. What do you all in the stream think? Do you like the way it looks? Should I kill Repairman's think... POV? Oh, did we start? I think, I think we're live here, yeah. Let's fight. Fight! All right. Well, I missed <laughs> while we were debating stream shit. I'm seeing Jalim come to the close point on red. It's being defended by Commander the Pyro, who almost detonates his own flag carrier. Uh, okay. Let's have a look here at the midpoint. We have no idea how to cast this map. Blue's got it, and we're seeing Dosepak playing heavy in the center. I kind of thought we'd My, see a guy uh, like Dosepok playing a different role, but, you know, those heavies are actually pretty important. Yep, I would have thought so, too. Okay, my perspective, I believe, has pretty much officially died here. All right, I, I will kill it to make you more comfortable. Let's do it. Yeah. So it's all me, baby. All right. Okay. Oh, we have uh, red. Uh, TNS. One away from an all cap. There it is. Oh! All cap that happened. number one, that was so quick. That happened very quickly. And, you know, the funny thing here is, is that Faultless uh, with uh, the free agents, uh, a.k.a. Hello tonight and Bad Luck, um, they were one away from it all kept themselves. And they oh my uh, God. just rapid fire cap there to uh, to take that. I'm watching... I'm watching Hog hold down the near point on red. Uh, there's no flag carrier from either team coming to take this point. Oh, no. Here comes Blue making a play from the other side. He's being pursued by a medic, but he's going to get the cap in. Blue now holds the red home point. They hold the center point. Do they hold the edges? Probably in a second here. Let's see. Blue's got two. Okay, blue is now one more away from an all cap. Again, they just need four. They need the uh, the far side point. Three gets retaken. Yeah, Bacon Man just picked it up, but it looks like we're gonna get the recap here. We have one of the blue carriers. Yeah, these blue carriers seem fairly well coordinated. 
commander takes out the soldier holding down point four. And just like last time, we went from one cap away from uh, red having an all cap to now all of a sudden it's one away from blue having an all cap. It happened very quickly. Is there an overview of the command points in the command center? Yes, there is. Oh, okay. I can pull this up on my kill feed. This is going to be helpful. There's the all cap. All cap number two. This one Blue for TNS one. and AR. Uh, this is a five point game. Okay, we're seeing red pick up three and four. Two's got their home point. Both, um, two has the, the near point. Neither home point at this point being picked up by their respective teams. And y'all can see me flailing around on the scoreboard. Gotta love... Gotta love maps where the, where the point increments are not 10 points. Okay, blue's close to an all cap. I'm heading over to the red home to see if they can clinch it. Uh, they know it, though. We have the jig fighting off the flag carrier. It looks like he's going to miss his conk. As red fights back, getting point four and three in short order. I'm going to try to take a moment to update the score here. Y'all enjoy the action at command point three. What do you see in repair? Chaos. This is, uh, the caps and the recaps are quick in yes. this one. Uh, much quicker than the game that we had last night. We've got scouts just jumping by each other left and right here. Blue's a, oh, blue is about to take the red home point and got killed right on it. Red's got everything but four right now. heading over there to see if they can grab it okay it looks like blue picked up their home point they're good there yeah it was interesting one of the things that i think really really differentiated our performance last night from the other teams was our ability to kind of defend these points um yes. there is there is an interesting kind of push pull between especially on the side points i find you don't always want to be pushing as soon as you got the point it is kind of no. useful to hang back and play a little bit defensively because it is For so sure. easy to just flip those edges, the edges of the map. It is. So all the different command points, whether it's, you know, the home points or the side points, they all have multiple entrances. Mighty Mouse uh, kills his own flag runner there, but he does have a follow-up <laughs> there on the way to recapping uh, the middle point here. Blue, blue here holding the home and the edges. We have Dosepak here in the middle trying to keep hope alive for his team here. Two picks up their their near point. A lot of red here at the center point. They're really trying to push forward here. Ooh, they had a scout hiding in the corner waiting for the recap, but he got found this, and immediately killed. This reminds me of a, almost like a, like a pickup game or like a pug, you know? Well, I think... Uh... I think more so even than a than a normal beer league match. I think that's exactly what we're seeing right here. Like the rockets are flying, people are all over the place. There's no defense. As I see a man, I'm gonna go get him. Catching so, here is uh, coming into point four. He's gonna try to hold it down for the for the blue scout following up behind. Two flag runners in short order. Look at the organization from this blue team. And I'm watching a conk on, from a name I can't read. Uh, onto the new home point, but not going to get it. Blue holding the edges and the home. Runes, is that, if you're still in here, is that Neon that's playing? Is he in the game as well with uh, with Klumi and, and Doompig? But anyway, looking at strategies and things like that here. Yeah, okay. I believe that the that's name that Neon. you could not pronounce, I think we believe that's yep. Neon, yeah. Yeah, he's one of the runners on blue, looks like. Yes. So, Solid um, coming in. looking at strategies, uh, we're seeing more of the traditional strategy tonight with soldiers and no medics. The yes. only uh, exception to that is Commander, who is playing the traditional pyro. <laughs> traditional for him. Yes. 
Right as I say that, he runs down a, uh, a flag runner with his flamethrower. Good for him. Bacon Man getting the near cap here at three. Red has got three points out of five, which is the best we've seen them here in a few minutes. Ever since that early all cap, they've really been on the back foot. And uh, Bacon Man with an interesting strategy there. He uh, he kills, or I'm sorry, he caps the middle point and then immediately starts trying to DM other flag runners and actually does manage to kill one. So, and a scout DPS uh, made perhaps underrated in TFC. We're seeing the jig is heavy, trying to hold down point four. Got Here comes Tony the blue flag in to though. Try and take number four. So I'm seeing clear. I'm seeing an emerging strategy here where blue is pushing through the uh, the far point, and they they're bringing multiple runners simultaneously. One grabs the point, and the other one pushes through to try to conk on the home. Oof. Some more scout DM here. Neon tries to take the back route into the uh, the enemy home point again, and Bacon Man spots him and runs him down with the single shotty. Bacon Man picking up three. Blue's got one and two. Red's got five, three, and four. So they split the edge points, and Red is controlling the middle. It looks like the strategy for for faultless and uh and uh well it's it's team hello is what it looks like yeah and bad luck is predominantly focused on the edges of the map whereas the strategy on red is really focused around the midpoint and it seems like controlling the edges might be a little bit more strong i'm seeing some spy play here from the we now have a spy no, Wait. we don't have a spy in the game. Oh my god, I just watched Bad Luck as a soldier, and when I want to put my mouse <laughs> over him, a, a name from the other team showed up. Okay. Maybe that's why I always think he's a spy. Maybe he is a spy. Blue's got four it. points. All they need is two and five. Yep, they just picked up two right now. Okay, red recapping four. Two re uh, blue recapping two, these teams just trading off, and the action very focused out here in the the transition points of the map. I'm seeing no one here at command point four. I wonder what two looks like. I'm just gonna go have a check out. I I, I played one of these points uh, last night, and I'm surprised to see so little activity here, other than flag runners passing through. I think what we're seeing quite a bit of, uh, especially one thing I've been noticing on the, the blue side of things, um, the soldier that's playing kind of in that point or around that point anyway is very often, you know, you had mentioned playing the edges. They're playing that attic position, looking down into command point three, providing support right. for the, the heavies. And so they're kind of leaving the, uh, the actual stair and cap point area open a little bit more. And then periodically they're coming back. Janjan Jan defending point three very effectively. We just had a chance to watch a scout run circles around bad luck at the near point. Blue now uh, defying my analysis, picking up the middle point. Red only has point four at the moment, their own near point. Okay, they flip three. I'm going to pick some flag runners to watch here. I'm going to head to the red base and see what these flag runners are doing strategically. I'm going to watch Bacon Man. Bacon Man actually right now has uh, 19 points on the scoreboard, and I think about half of those are kills. Following the Man of Bacon, he's going to wait here at three for it to flip blue so he can flip it red. Oh, but he no! Gets taken out. <laughs> that was two friendly grenades that uh, blew up in Sad. his face. All right, I'm watching Julie now on the blue side. It's going to eat a conk in the wrong direction and then a nail grenade. It's tough being a flag runner on this map, I think. It really is. It really, really is. And There's we just a saw lot a of score things... leap up for blue. Did they get an all cap? I think we just saw an all cap. I think they may have just barely gotten one, yeah. Wow. The map needs more ceremony around these things. <laughs> Some confetti balloons. But the way the scores leap, it almost looks like it was two all caps. I don't think it was quite that many. All right. Well, they have been pulling ahead steadily here. Nearly a 
a, a 40 point lead here for Team Blue over the TNS and the crew. Bad luck getting the better of the red heavy and then eating a rocket from beyond. We see the blue team with one, two, and three, all the points near to their base. Red flipping two and three as I speak. So red one point from, away from an all cap. All they got to do is sneak a flag runner into to the blue home, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Blue flips their near point, grabbing two. And I imagine they'll have someone coming into four here in just a moment. I'm watching Jalen. He's making a run on the blue home point. And he's going to get it. Just ahead of Dose Pac. Out going to retake number one right now. And there it is. So you were mentioning uh, it being difficult to run flags. It's hard to run the scouts in this map. Um, if you're going to run flags and you're going to do it effectively. Sorry, just had to police the chat. Got to do what you got to do. Police the chat. Bad luck with the great command point defense, man. Reliving the MH glory days. Oh, but now he's going to, to the midpoint, man. You got to hang back. They're going to take that point away from you. Have we seen any base deaths yet? I don't no, think anyone's playing not. Demo Man on the map. Yeah, we've got no demos in the game, so we're not going to see any uh, any detonations. At least not this round. Maybe things uh, switch up a little bit for, for round two. Has Mighty Mouse been playing Medic the whole match? No, this is a recent switch. That's good. Uh, one of the things that we've really found is that substituting some of the traditional soldiers on this map for for medics really makes a difference in how how much how much you can suppress enemy flag runners yes yes the movement speed is huge being able to to conk away from your base and get back into the action very very quickly uh is really really important for hunting down those flag runners yeah i was seeing these red soldiers dming in the center Okay. I'm just seeing a couple of blue soldiers over here on the... What point is this? Point two. So the blue near point. Commander is flaming in the center. Um, both teams just kind of ping-ponging back and forth here. We're not seeing a lot of direct momentum in either direction from what I can tell. 100 to 60, the score just ticked over. And bad luck doing a great job once again over here on point two of defending. Maybe he's stream sniping us. Let's sing to our call out. It could be. And bad luck once again, defense. pushing forward, causing trouble, taking out one flag runner before getting bopped by the uh, the heavy weapons guy. Prinzi, I'm saying there was momentum, but the momentum has slowed down. I think that's accurate. I'm not rooting against y'all. Prunzy very, very protective of Neon, I think. Under understandably so. Neon's a lad. All right. Let's see. Oh, Blue just needs three for an all cap. I think I just saw Blue fly carrier fall over. Where's the fly carrier, Blue? I'm sure we're going to see these red flips here in just a second. Four flipped. Yep. We see two blue flags coming out. Five is now going to flip as well. Julie's going for the midpoint. Going to grab it. Looks like they're letting the far point go to red. Blue flag is going through two. Maybe making a play for their home. Let's see what the action is here outside the uh, man point two. Bad luck. Is going to square up against Jalim, and Jalim's going to go run it. Yeah, we're going to see, I think, on a little bit uh, of what the, of how important it is to to understand the map strategically and how to kind of control the. Um... Another all cap for blue. Oh, blue cleaning up. 
all cap number is that four? I believe that is number four. Yes. Very very beautiful. And my timer's a bit off. I think we have about two minutes left in this round. Yeah, I believe it's about two minutes. Yep. Jalen is making a play on the home point for blue. It's going to grab it. So going back to what we were talking about before I started having to uh, police the chat there. My apologies for that. Um, mentioned about the flag running. It's very, very timing based if you want to actually do it correctly. So you would time one conk to go off at another time to get the, the double conk into whatever point you're going to get to. You don't want to have to run something onto a point because you're so slow. Neon making a play for the home point right now. He may get it. It's going to be close. He's at one but it's already health. taken. He's going for the secret health pack. A commander is out there watching. Commander doesn't know where he is. He can hear him though. He went into the secret door. Oh, he Up, gets the and there's the all cap. Lands it. What the a play. Cap neon light. Wow. And he retakes command point five. What? Just to rub dirt in it. <laughs> Rubbing it right in their face. I nice appreciate it. All right, just about a minute left here. A hundred point lead for for Team Faultless and uh, the free agents. Gotta love the free agent carry. Four is once again one point away from an all cap. Sorry, did I say four is again is one is one point away? I meant uh, you did. blue is one point away. So the way this is working for me is I actually have on my, my kill feed POV. There it is oh, again. There it is. 192 to 66. Yikes. So I've seen Neon make the same uh the same move a couple times now to get into the enemy home point where he's going middle. He's conking through middle and then having another conk primed in there and he's sneaking around uh, the soldiers and the heavies when he does Game. that. Yeah, he's playing very well right it now. Worked. It worked. It worked. The neon impressive. factor weighing heavy. That was some good stuff. Hey, for those of y'all who um, are used to watching TFC on my stream, make sure you throw Repairman a follow. Cause yeah, throw me a follow. Throw this man a follow. Smash it. Like, comment, subscribe. And I gotta, I gotta update the scores here between rounds. Ended up being sixty-six to one ninety-six. Anyone in the chat remember? Hold on one second here, Greg. I can also find out. I think that's what it was. And it looks like we're back in the same server for round two. I'm going to squeeze in a quick boomer bathroom break while we're in pre-match. What's the password? So the score was 192 to 66. Got it. Got it. All right. Back in a sec. Okay. So anyway, um, very interesting. That round in particular, because if I'm not mistaken, did TNS open it with the first all cap pretty quickly uh, off out of the gates there? And then from there, it was just all... Faultless and hello. I think five or six all caps in short order after that over the course of the next uh, 17 minutes or so. It's a very, very impressive. Uh, it's really hard to call it a comeback. They were leading probably 90%. Yeah, within the first two minutes. Yeah, I believe that's right, Prunes. But it was all, all faultless and, and hello. I mean, we shouldn't really call them free agents here. We should just call them hello. <laughs> um, it was all them afterwards. 
Okay, I think we've jumped right back into uh, to round two while Greg is taking his boomer break. Did we start? We did start. All right, game time. Let me connect to the server. Should be same server. Fight! Okay. Okay, so first change that we're seeing here is we do have an engineer on TNS. They are building a gun at their home point. Go with what they know. In the in the pre-match, I did mention uh, my, my opinion of, of Engineer, how it's basically just kind of giving up at that point. Um, however, they were getting pressured quite a bit at their home point. So Yeah, if you're getting all capped on, I mean, yes. I can, I can kind of see it. The question will be, you know, you're, you're getting capped on so frequently because you're not having good map control. Right. And if you're not getting good forward map control, how much help is you know an engineer going to be as opposed to a soldier or a medic or you know a heavy weapon guy um i i think that's kind of a, a misdiagnosis of what the problem is but it is going to get a kill right here yeah yeah just threw back Clumy trying to get that that uh that home point cap so we'll have to monitor that and see uh how this actually plays out over the course of the round you may end up by seeing a score be a little bit closer but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to flip the tables and end up by winning okay so blue's got Given their home point their near point and the midpoint Battle line split right down the middle here. Red's going to sweep through and grab the far point, which is the ne the near point for uh, for blue. Blue flips the center. Just a lot of trading off. What were you starting to say, right there? I was going to say, given how aggressive um, that that Faultless has played this so far, I would actually expect now that they know that they're building a gun in that point to hit it very hard. I think they're going to send uh, a lot of people in there to try and keep it cleared as much as possible. They're, all they need is that point for the all cap. Yeah. Uh, TNS and actually, the gun, the gun is down at this point. Yeah. Too. TNS picking up their near point to prevent it. I'm not seeing any red flags coming into the area. Maybe these uh, either bet either uh, unlucky timing on the red side, or perhaps uh, just elected, looking to play a little more conservatively. Let's see Kirov having pushed into the, uh, near the enemy base. Red Runner getting thrown back. Mighty Mouse swapping to heavy this round. I'm seeing the blue runner, Jalen, making a run on the red home point. He's being pursued by Jan Jan. Jan Jan's not going to get him in time. We just had an all cap for blue. We did. Similar start to what we saw in the first round. Let's see if they can actually keep up the momentum now. See if they can make this interesting. Yeah. Now, with that said, they're going to need about four more of those to bring this game close. So we've got a ways to go here. Yeah. About a 110-point gap to close right now. Nonetheless, a good start is a good start. Yeah, right now, Blue's got no points. Uh, as I speak, they kept the midpoint. Uh, Red's got their near and their home. No one's picked up the uh, the home point for blue, though. There are times I don't think that's a, a particularly bad strategy. That one's kind of easy to get. So, you know, if you can make a push for one of the forward ones and then come back and get it after the fact, I don't think that's really that big of a deal. Bad Luck's making a play here. He's harassing at the enemy home point here. Pushing up, he's going to rocket jump into their base as the flag runner just walks by him. Let's see what kind of trouble Bad Luck can get up to. Not much. Yeah, the home point for Blue is still sitting neutral. They have their home point in the midpoint. And Jalen okay. is just chilling out at two. TNS has dropped its engineer. Am I seeing 10 players on blue, or is that just me? 
Uh, I believe it's just you. Jig lagged out and did disconnect. He may be okay. stuck in there on your side. Um, okay. uh, let's find some flag runners to watch. Julie is bunny hopping around near the midpoint, looking for something to get in trouble to get into. I think she's going to make a run here on point two and going to get it, sneaking up on Commander, who didn't even see Julie coming. But clumi has got a flag, and uh, yeah, um, trying to cap the point he's already got. A little bit of miscommunication there on the uh, on the faultless and free agent side. So yeah, TNS has dropped all of the meme classes. It's now all soldiers, heavies, and scouts. No more pyro. No more ng. No medic either. No medic on either no team. No medic either. We're seeing a very classic Ooh. lineup. Double heavy, triple runners, rest soldiers. Yes. And Doom Piggy with a really, really nice push here. So I mentioned before about, you know, Blue not getting its home point and how that might not be the worst idea. You know, come and get that later. They still have not capped it. So now at this point, I think it's hard to say that it's strategy as much as it is just uh, <laughs> neglect. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Is, is it possible that it's bugged? I don't think so unless i could actually check the uh i'll check the command center here to see what it what it actually says i'm watching Clooney no they, here. they just haven't capped it make a run on point two he's gonna face off against the blue soldier oh man there's a blue carrier though you hate that you come to cap the point and there's an uh, enemy carrier there to recap it as soon as you get there what do you do in that situation right you cry well, if you notice you it ahead of time you dm and you just hope for the best that's really all you can do they finally do get their home point. TNS, that is. There you go. I'm spectating Neon Light right now, running flags for the faultless side. Let's see what master plan he's employing this round. Whatever was working for him last round has not is not working for him this round. I'm not sure if it's got to do with swaps or what. Or just maybe changes on the TNS side. Maybe them getting serious. Oh, Neon Light juking the hell out of the blue soldier. Who was that? That was very nice. And now he's DMing. He's trying to protect his other scout. Oh, Commander. And he's successful in doing so. That's we rough. Have Julie making a push for the home point, but is going to get naded. So. Whoa, and there we go. There's cap the all cap. Red. So. Things are going very similarly to what we saw in the first round, where yeah. TNS gets off to a really, really quick start and then just kind of loses it. They're about to recap the uh, the first point. Yeah. Faultless <laughs> captures the blue home point. And the scout, uh, I think, is going the wrong way. He opts to not recap his home point and instead goes for two, I guess. All we'll right. see how long it actually takes them to recap their home point. The last time it took a solid minute or so. Let's see if they uh, correct that. Looks like they, nope, maybe not. Oh, another all There we go again. Red. So this is, this is some pretty bad miscommunication on the side of TNS and the, yeah. uh, the flag runners there. Um, they had two opportunities to capture their home point and they just left it go. And as a result, the two all caps in quick succession. And they are still not going to capture their home point. Maybe it's some, Here some, we go. some form we... of protest. <laughs> they finally had someone come in to do it. He went the long way, though. He went around the opposite direction. Julie squeezing in a cap of the point three before the Merv goes off. Well, actually, I think the first blast from the Merv pushed her into the cap point. She got pretty lucky there. Hog is setting up shop and defending point number four from the front. Within the back, we got bad luck. He's going to tangle with Kirov. The heavy's going to poke in and get, grab the kill. Ooh, baby gets it. Red all over this point four. And they have everything but the home point for blue now. Now, of course, the points flip so quickly in this game that having four points doesn't necessarily mean you're, you're close to getting an all-cap. 
Well, we've seen that a few times now. Having control of four out of the, uh, the five points does not mean you're safe. Things are flipping very, very quickly. Watching Neon Light make a run here at point two. Let's see if the... Oh, beautifully orchestrated. The blue scout totally wasting a cap. Catch in there to get him. And uh, the recap right behind. The recap mechanic is one of the things about this map that I feel like maybe would make it feel a little bit better to play. Like if there was like a like a five or ten second lockout after a cap is made. Mm, I see. I see. So like we, we had talked about this in season one for, for Warpath. For Warpath. How there's like the, yeah. the 15 second, you know, layover or whatever until you can capture the point again. Uh, it would be very interesting to see how that functions in a CP map like this. I don't know if that would be a positive or a negative change, but it would be interesting to see. Seeing the red soldiers playing a bit more of defense here on the, the satellite points. Blue, one point away from an all cap. I'm going to swoop in on the red home, see if they can grab it. As red flips forward to prevent it. Caltrop kill. Spec kills Clummy. <laughs> Way to go, Clummy. Nicely done. Let's pick a blue flag runner. But eight minutes left. Round two. Canal zone two. TNS and the RGs versus uh, Faultless and Free Agents. Faultless free agents way, way out in front at this point. I don't think it's technically unwinnable at this point. Practically, though. It's pretty much unwinnable. Bacon Man's going to make a try of it anyway. Conk we're running down the clock. There are two red soldiers pushing through from their near point to the enemy home. We have a blue runner here in the attic of their near point, Jalen, chilling out. Oh, we picked a wrong time to jump doing? down there. He was going to try and make a play for the home point, and uh, it just so happened the second he dropped down, there was about f three people to greet him, a heavy and two soldiers. Lots of, lots of action here at the midpoint. Um... Commander is going to try to fend off of Red Runner. Clumy. Commander gets him. Defends the point for blue. And it's a good thing, because all they have is their home point and that one other point. I'm going to watch Katchen make a run for it. See some soldier-on-soldier -soldier action. Oh, Neon He's... is going into the home point. He gets he it. He gets it. All the red needs is the mid. And four. Four flips. Four flips as well. So, yeah, very curious there. On behalf of uh, TNS there, there were people that saw Neon flip by them. And uh, they chose to push into the center point, I think, to protect the flag runner that was there. Hmm. And they give up their home as a result. Now, they do recap three, but that was very, very close. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it would have made more sense for someone to peel and kind of chase him there. I'm going to do a little bit of first person on the flag runners for a minute. We got about six and a half left in this game. Now, this I'm watching Bacon Man and one of his other runners go through the water. This water section yes. of the map is not one I'm very familiar with. What, what, what do you think the, the, the strategic value of the water is? Uh, you can shark down most of it. It's, uh, it's actually pretty valuable, uh, assuming that it's being ignored by the other team. I just watched Bacon use it to get uh, get into the far point. Very little, very little um, opposition. Yes. So when I was flag running last night, I was pushing through water and kind of that corridor, and the other team was pushing it very, very heavily. So it proved to not be particularly effective. Um, you're not seeing people run through those routes as much in this particular match. So that tends to be a little bit more open. So yeah, that's a, a nice little highway there for the scouts. You can shark from your base all the way to the center. If you have another conk, you can shark all the way to the enemy base. Sharking, of course, a mechanic where you essentially hold the space bar on the top of the water and lets you retain most of your speed. Neon's going to make oh, a play, no. and he's going to grab two away from Kirov. 
Red currently holds the flanks. Blue holds the center. Total score, five minutes remaining. 292 to 126 in favor of Bolts. I'm swooping through command point four here. Nothing going on. Have a couple of blue runners trying to get out of their base, but they're facing off against the hog, who's just not going to let it happen. Oh, no, Neon. Hog's covering Julie's approach <laughs> to the home point. I think Julie's going to grab the home point. This is an all cap right here. Oh, I get to see it live. The all cap. There we go. Red. So I was watching Neon there just prior to that all cap. Uh, he captures one of the side points. I believe he captures two uh -huh. to uh, kind of enable that for the, uh, the person who was running to the home point. He hits one of the lights hanging from the ceiling and his jump over and it knocks him down, but he has a backup primed and is able to conk right in the face of a soldier and get up there. <laughs> and um, he is going to recap the home point again here, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the faultless guy is still... Oh, they just, they just grabbed their home point. All they need now is the enemy near. This point four. And we're seeing things devolve a little bit. Commander's given up yes. on playing soldier. He's playing sniper. Lots of red here at command point two. They think they know it's all they needed for the all cap, but they give up four in the meantime. Bacon Man's going to flip the middle. Floor flips back again. Sorry, two that is. Okay. And they only two. need the middle right now. I'm watching a couple of red runners come out of the base. Neon's Neon going to probably make have the conk. first opportunity. He double conks it. He's waiting for his opportunity. Going for the triple. There's two red flags on their way to the middle. And neither of them get it. Oh my god. <laughs> One was recapped right before they got there, unfortunately. Uh, Neon kind of misses up his uh, his first conk away from the base and unfortunately can't use his second to go onto the point. Has to prime a third, and that delay is just enough for Blue to recap their home. Neon going the back way to the home point, being chased by a soldier. Oh! There's also a sniper waiting for him there. Red making a serious play for this home point. Just saw uh, Heavy and two soldiers push through to the home. They own it. But is there a flag to back him up? Here comes Blue. Mighty Mouse and Bacon Man the runner. Bacon's going to flip the midpoint. Red needs mid and enemy home to take it down their, what, eighth all cap of the round? I mean, of the match? Julie's going to eat a rocket from Kirov and have her hopes of getting the, the far point, uh, enemy home point dashed. I need better names for these points. Oh, okay, that's bad. AZ accidentally kills herself trying to kill a flag runner. Had two staring her right in the face and she eats her own rocket. Hog just bopping one of the one of the red runners as Mighty Mouse makes a push as heavy up to the enemy base. Jan Jan's gonna chase him down. Couple runners, all three runners coming out at once for red. One's gonna go for home, one's gonna go for mid. A little bit of a bottleneck there, getting to the mid, not gonna get it. Kalumi's gonna make a run on the far point. There's no one else here. Man point two is his for the taking. <laughs> Neon making a strong push for the home point there. It gets body blocked by another enemy flag runner that doesn't know he's there. And then they, they duke it out and Neon wins. <laughs> That's the best. Oh, I'm watching some spy play going on right outside the blue base. Ooh, baby has uh, decided that this, it's time for spy. And uh, misses the, the, the knife on the blue runner who is going to retake to the, the near point. And that's the round. That is the round and the game. 146 to 75.
game. Wow. What a blowout. What a blowout indeed. I don't believe I've ever seen that many all caps in a game of CZ2 before. I'm not sure either. And if we had, I mean, rounds previously when this was played before were 30 minutes. Um, and in just 20 minutes, I think both rounds, they had about five or six all caps. That's quite a few. Yeah. That's, that's impressive. Let's see if we can get some interviews lined up here. You want to help me get corral people repair? Sure. I'll see if I can get spider guy here. We should try and get one of the, the hello ringers. You should get clummy or, or doom piggy in here. Right. I guess we can get bad luck in here. Do we have to? <laughs> All right. Click, click, click. So how did the chat enjoy that? Is that a fun match to watch? You were playing, Julie. You can't say it was fun <laughs> to watch. Julie, you were fun to watch. Anyone from either team who's on the stream, feel free to put your hand up and come in for an interview. Where's Neon? Neon, you usually jump in and say something. There's Julie. Okay, Julie, you should have access to jump into this voice channel. Feel free. I say we can have bad luck interview. <sighs> okay. He's been asking for Bake. it for a little while, and he did actually play tonight. You know, Mighty Mouse says Bacon Man will. Okay. Is Bacon Man in the Discord already? I think he is. He might be. I think he joins and then leaves. A lot of people do that because he's too cool. Yeah, apparently. Oh, there's Bacon Man. Nope, nope. He's he's here. Never mind. He's not cool. That's right. He idles in my Discord. Therefore, he's not cool. <laughs> That's definitely how it works. Uh, here's Kalumi. Handing out access as I call y'all's names out. So jump into the studio chat. What up? Bacon man. Bacon was not very crispy tonight. How'd it go? Uh, I think that, I think we won. Is that a victory? In the book of <laughs> TFC, in, in my opinion, we had nine people uh, on a oh, like 10 minute notice, all of which who were not on any other beer league team. Uh huh. Most of them had to install the game, but I think we had a, a success. We grew TFC community and reignited some old flames. Well, well, uh, a, a a loss for TNS, but a victory for TFC, huh? Right. Yeah. Like That's... when when the other team disbands, but then subs in other games for TBL, kind of lame, kind of shitty. Didn't offer to play in our game. So we had to go find our own people. Yeah, there That's seems to be a lot of that. Of you, Bacon Man. It really is. There seems to be a lot of that going on this week. Are things winding down for the Beer League? What's going on? What's your take? Uh, I mean, COVID's over, so less people playing TFC in general. Is COVID so over? I, would agree. I, don't I don't know that it's exactly over. You're you're in Canada though, right? No, I'm in the southern United States. Are you really? I thought you were Canadian for some reason. Mm, incorrect. Sorry. Sorry. That's wrong yeah. of me. It's a compliment. You're forgiven. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, our HW guy, Lampercat, had hit, that was his second game of TFC. His first game was when he subbed for us on 
a rank for us on Warpath. He didn't know that there was armor, and he didn't know he had a second grenade. <laughs> well, <laughs> something was learned tonight, it sounds like. We had Beyond, who's a former TFC player from 10 plus years ago. He installed to play with us. Excellent. Yeah, I noticed Beyond's name. He uninstalled right after. I was going to say, is this going to be his first and only game? I guess it answers yeah. my question. <laughs> yeah, okay. Out. Okay. Well, thanks for the report, Bacon. We also have uh, Clooney joining us as well as... Clummy. As the artist formerly known as Spider. I'm not sure what we should call you. Spider, Spider guy. Spider, Spider guy. guy. Spider call man. me Spider guy. Dude. Okay. All right. Spider, Spider guest, Spider man. Clummy, you were here first. Clummy, how'd it go, dude? It's Clummy. Clummy. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. It's quite all right. Um, I don't know. Pre match was a little hectic. We didn't know what we were going to do. And then I noticed that we only had two scouts. So I said, hey, I'll run flags too. Um, I guess the team I'm... did really well. They killed a lot of stuff because it, uh, it was pretty easy to get around. You just that had to avoid sense. Mighty Mouse. Yeah. Uh, I think we I think he was the only person on that wasn't running the flag that had played TFC before. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we got Kirov. That was a, a success as well. Saw that. He who stayed is Kirov? up. Until, uh he's someone in the Ukraine who stayed up until like five AM to play okay. TFC. So what's the uh I'm just curious, what what the, what's the connection of uh Kirov to to you and, and TNS? I'm glad World you of Warcraft? Asked. No. So what we did is we changed our names to we need players to play at 10 o'clock Eastern time. I saw one of those tags. Yes. Joined several pub servers and we waited for people to message us. <laughs> and he was the only one. So much the rest, hustle. Phil. The rest were I sent texts. I had to call a couple of people and say, can you play? I asked uh, Locke if you guys remember him from way back when he I said, do he remember Locke? His you know, get his computer out of his attic, and then he didn't have a monitor because he got his computer but didn't get his monitor. So, so I, <laughs> did he play by, I sound, remember, by sound? He didn't play. Right. I remember right. Locke. Am I, am I correct? Am I correct? The only two things I remember about Locke is that number one, he used to be fat, and number True. two, he was a great big Eagles fan. That is both of those are accurate. He. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> he saved all the customizations for TFC. If you download anything from the MR clan, thank Locke for that. Awesome. That's all, that's really, really cool. He got so, skinny, though, and then left video games forever. That's how it goes. Is he still an Eagles fan, though? He is. Okay. Well, you can't win them all, I guess. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so Spider Guy, uh, you guys were, were similarly kind of caught in a position where you didn't really have that many free agents. I believe Julie was the only one on the free agent list that actually ended up by playing for you. Is that right? Yeah, he's the only one who uh, said anything. Julie's a okay. guy? <laughs> of course yeah. he is. Sorry, Julie. Big Jules, he ran flags for us. He was owning. Isn't it, isn't it yeah, like, great. what time is it in South Korea? Early morning? Yeah, it would have to be. I think Maniac. I think Julie had to get up at like 4 a.m. for this match. Oh, that's dedication. Wow. Oh, that's right. I did yeah, remember seeing him saying he was stoked right to play this one like <laughs> days ago. So we have Five some random here. guy from the Ukraine and uh, we had Julie in, in South Korea. Wow. It's too bad Slippy that's wasn't fun. here. You could have had someone in Japan too. Uh, he told us to F off when he asked him to play. <laughs> okay. That, that sounds like that. Slippy. <laughs> uh I'm I'm actually starting to to come around to this uh bacon man. I think you guys did win. I know. Between Slippy telling you to to F off and, and finding a random Ukrainian to to play in the match. That's impressive. Yes. Yep, Spider guy, what do you think about uh what do you think about forfeiting and allowing TNS to get the victory? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean we can do that officially if you want, but the game was fun. <laughs> Nine. Listen, y'all took it down. Make and you guys are, are number one in the league right now, Spider. Did you know that? Yeah, but isn't like all the uh, the matchmaking like RNG? I mean, yeah, but I mean, you're still number yeah. one. 
played TNS or played with or against TNS like five games. Who did you guys lose like against that. this this True. season? You're six and one. It was actually when they played with us, Greg. Uh, oh, against yeah. the enclave Stack, game. An enclave, yeah. Oh, enclave. Oh, yeah. I wasn't there that week, right? Our bad. Yeah. Sorry, I should have played. So every single game foul play has played that I've been in, we've won. But if I haven't been there, we've lost. So far, hundred percent. So that that's my bad. Sorry, Spider. That's all right, man. <laughs> so uh, was it was it similarly kind of a little bit of a scramble on on your end to kind of get things situated as far as strategy and who was going to play what? Oh yeah, we didn't really figure out anything until pre match. Didn't even know who was playing until you know two minutes until we got in the server. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> Big mood. And Clummy, uh, I know Hello was pretty eager to not play CZ2, but nonetheless, three of you ended up by by playing. Um, now that you have played, what do you think of it? Have you played CZ2 organized before? Yeah, like 15 years ago. Gotcha. But it was, it was fun. I always was like playing Soldier or Medic, so running Flags was interesting. I liked it. Was that your first time running Flags then? Yes, it was. Yeah. It is fun. A lot of people think it's like boring and monotonous, but I actually find it very, very enjoyable. And I, uh, you, yeah, did a, did too. you did a nice job. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Locke is in the chat, by the way. Locke is in the chat. Hey, hey, hey. Just talked about him and he just showed up, appeared out of nowhere. Hey, Locke. I don't think Hi. we've ever talked before. But I remembered that you like the Eagles and that you used to be fat. And that those were the only things that I remembered about you. So you made an impression on me from like 17 years ago for no apparent reason. That's all I have to add. Anyway, bad luck's here. Hi. Yeah, he hello, bad luck. Hello. I unironically enjoyed watching you play this game, bad luck. Oh, thanks for the underhanded comment. I mean it. He actually like... did think you were a spy at one point. It's true. That actually <laughs> happened. So I'll tell you the story. You can go back and watch the clip. But um, I was, you know, following people. And because I'm in the, the free cam view, you can't tell who you're looking at until you get right up close to them. And then the uh, the overlay of the person's name shows up. So I, I start following a soldier. And then um, the, a name from the other team comes up, which is, of course, what happens when you're spectating a spy. And then um, I'm like, oh, there's some spy play going on. And then a second later, the name shakes out, and of course, it's you. That's the story. That That's story, story was really fucking good. Thanks. Thanks. Can you tell that? I, um, I would like you to incorporate more fantasy elements, if you could tell it again. More fantasy elements. You know, like Lord of the Rings stuff. Oh. Like, give me a cloak of invisibility if I'm going to be mistaken as a spy. Okay, I, I, uh, you don't I have to do that. Let's perceived not do that. a traitor, fucking, a traitor approaching the fortress. I'm trying to mute you, but I'm realizing oh, I that I have no power in this, uh, in this discord. That's and right. when my eyes fell upon the traitor, they did betray me as well. No, nah, I'm, I don't got any more. That's good. I'm glad. Um, <clears> anyway, it is your stream, so you can tell me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> So did you play in any of the, the CZ2 pickups that we did earlier, Bad Luck? Uh, I played in the one you did several months ago, I think. Okay, okay. So this wasn't your first time playing it in like 15 years. You did have the experience of playing it a couple months ago. I mean, every time I've ever played this map, I've done the exact same thing. So in you that sense, both. it comes back to me pretty quickly. But that was the first time I played in... Um, Oh, I rang for, uh, I mean, uh, Doug played some match about a month ago. Not me, because there's no ringers. Shout out but to yeah. Doug. Yeah. Shout out to Doug. Big shout out to Doug. But I've played, uh, that's the first, like, once every two months, I think, is where I'm at right now. I feel like that's my bad luck saturation point, about once every two months. That's about all. I'm never going to make your it. logo. Yeah, I know. We already know this. <laughs> <laughs> I already already figured it's it's okay. 
Uh, but yeah, it was um, it was cool watching uh, there there were the, the the new folks to the map versus the folks who were kind of were familiar with it. Bad luck, you called out. Just you've done the same thing every time. I imagine you you playing soldier. Me too, playing soldier on this yesterday. It's like okay, either you attack the far point and hold it and push, or you attack the near point and you defend it. Right, like those are the two ways to play soldier on this map for the most part. I basically just think of it as spawn and then go as far into their base as you can before you die, and then you just repeat that over and over. It's the roguelike experience of TFC. The roguelike experience of TFC. Okay. Minus the random map, but yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and the progression. Anyway, bad luck insightful as always. Uh any uh anything else you wanna you wanna wrap it up with for Pearman? Um not really. So what actually just really, really quickly looking forward to next week because we have the playoffs starting up. What is our first map? It's uh Prodigal, correct? Oh god. Who did that? Why did they do that? I'm gonna guess it's Frizz. That's yeah. the map that ended TDA's win streak. Oh, is it? Really? Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's a terrible map. Ooh, some trauma. It's got a really on. cool respawn, though. It does have an awesome respawn with, like, the uh, Stargate music. Is that what it is? I don't know. if I, I think it's just classical music. I don't know if it's from Stargate or not. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's got, it's got all the music, and it's got, like, three different tubes that go out of it. Everyone loves tubes. It's yes. like... The flag room is like someone just farted and then turned it into a map. I don't know. It's it's a mess of garbage. And even 17 years later, I still want nothing to do with it. Fish knows. He was there. Well, I got good news, bad luck. You're not on a team, so you actually don't have to do anything with it. I am not on a team, but I have played in two matches, so. There you go. So. I don't. I don't think it'll be necessary next time because it's going back to uh, to four versus four. And if teams can't get four of their own, well, then they're kind of in trouble. Are the playoffs are four versus four. Yes, Clummy and uh, and Spider. Opinions on on Prodigal? Uh, don't want to play it. Okay. <laughs> I think I heard uh, Clummy was 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 kind of drowned out there. I think I heard it sucks. Is that correct? I said it's not my favorite. Not your favorite? Okay. Who does like it? I don't know. That's a good question. Frizz, I think it's, what the hell were you thinking? I think it's pretty to look at, but I don't think it's uh, fun to play at all. It does look pretty and it does sound pretty. I remember that. And the respawn is great. But yeah, it's just, it's a nightmare on defense and it's massive. So it's also a nightmare on offense. Yeah, the distance between bases is pretty, pretty significant. There should be another tube for offense that takes them much further. Neon, are you listening? Neon, you need to fix Prodigal. <laughs> I I feel like uh, that would be pretty far down his list of uh, maps to to improve. <laughs> we, can, we can fix it by like not playing it. That is a good repair. I don't remember what Prodigal even looks like. Help me refresh my memory. It's very green. Like the bases are mostly kind of like outdoors. Um, the flag it's... room is like a bunch of fallen over white rocks yeah kind of. and the flags on top of them and i don't it's... think you're i don't think you're gonna find it in google image search <laughs> so far you're correct yeah that didn't work <laughs> right, do you still have your game open greg no nah, i can fire it up though hang on okay if you have it i'm not sure if you i probably have really it have to see it to believe it oh yeah and see the spawn in all its glory. Once the second you spawn and you hear the music, it'll all come rushing back to you and you're yeah. gonna hate it. Um so Prodigal, okay. We've also got one more match. We've got a match tomorrow night, OST, <sighs> and there you go. Look at that look at that respawn room. What? Look at the tubes. That was a frame rate killer back in the day. Oh my god. All that glass. It was awful. As long there as you, you don't go. leave that respawn, the map is oh, really this nice. this awful flag room. <laughs> yes, I remember. <laughs> I totally forgot about this map. Yeah, nobody had a good experience after playing it. 
like nobody finished their net of TSC and said, well, that was a great map. Yet it kept getting picked in leagues. It oh, wasn't this... played just once. Oh, I think yeah. the thing that I think the thing that bothers me about this map the most is if you go back to the uh, the flag room, Greg. Mm -hmm. I remember the floor being unnecessarily uneven, like yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, which just makes it a pain in the ass to do anything. You're constantly getting caught on like little lips or ledges, <laughs> or you know, you're if you're conking, it's really easy to to have to you know you get stuck on a ramp. It was just really oh, God, awful. Look at all these awful stairs and shit. Uh... And this is gonna be four versus four. That's right. Oh man. So that means, well, okay, Greg, do a quick run from to the enemy base and see how long that takes. Okay. Because I feel like. This is going to be the slowest. This is like doing a four versus four on Red Giant. It's going to take forever for the offense to get back each time. Especially if you don't take that door. You got to remember to always oh, go that door way. Oh, the out here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's one of the tubes goes this direction. Wow, this is a large, large. Yeah, there's ledges everywhere. You can't bunny hop. Look at this. Oh, yeah, lots of stuff to catch yourself on. Where's this go? Red team only. I think that's technically a battlements. I don't even know what you would call that. So the I don't remember should, where that goes. The offense should take that way because it's slightly faster than going around. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and there is an upper an upper part to that uh to that room there. Yeah, this is where I played when we lost the win streak. Was up so here. Was it your fault? I'm sure it was. Okay. Look at that nice little view. That was the big thing when this map came out. I remember, like, whatever TFC mapping, you know, websites I used to go to, everyone was freaking out over, like, oh, my God, it looks, like, so complex, and the textures are great, and it's got this, like, respawn, and then Look it's at just that awful sky to play. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's this say? Can anyone read this? If it Enhanced. Was 20 by 20. <laughs> Enhanced. Enhanced, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna test out these other spawns and see what they do. Like the little shoots. Oh, the tubes? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Is this where internet came from? It's a series of tubes. I get it. I get yeah. the reference. It's right, dude. You that. spawn in the mainframe, Look, dude. It even tells you where to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's Blue base? Point. Blue base. Capture point? Battlements resupply. I guess I want that. Everyone has time to read that during a match. I like the yeah. It plays. Oh, this is not a good place to come out. Wasn't there a, a place that was more like centrally located? Well, there's that one, and then there's one directly behind it. Well, what is that? Okay. This is another entrance into the uh, the flag room. Bit of a kill box. Yeah, and walking up that ramp's all fucking weird because it doesn't just yeah. seem to happen naturally. It's so yeah, steep. It's like whoever made this intentionally made everything as wrong as they could, but they made it pretty as they made it wrong Whoa. so that people would be tricked into playing it. Well, that's okay, weird. So you can you can go out that way, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah, if you... That's the way to go. So you spawn battlements, and then you jump down to this little door. That seems very unnecessary. And you're here. I like to get caught in that little thing too. Bat says this looks like a four NGD map. <laughs> Flagship. Yeah, Mighty Mouse is still in the uh, Mighty Mouse is still in the chat. Bat, be careful. I'm pretty sure he's thought of it already. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they okay. only had one SG on CZ two. So, I was kind of surprised. And only for a little while too. Did not work. Getting getting flags out is going to be a problem on this map. You can see it is. It is. So I think this one was played nine versus nine. Uh, I remember a heavy being on the in the front. Yeah. Right so this so if this is played eight versus eight, that will improve things a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think it's going to improve things enough for it to be fun. Um, the strategy everyone should use is. Um, you hit the tilde key and you type change level literally anything else and then you play that map instead. 
That is that is the winning <laughs> this is strat. It's gonna be miserable Which to play offense on. It will. The one useful ramp in the entire in the entire setup, and it's on your way out of the base. <laughs> See, remember, it's equal opportunity because it's also miserable to play defense on. So no one has a good time. <laughs> With that said, hey, bad luck. You want to play next week? Uh, I'll be. When is it? I got a hair to wash or something. Whatever those chicks used to say back in the day. What? Yeah. Right. The answer is no. All right. Thanks. So, what else do we got for the playoffs? I don't know. Do we know what the other maps are yet? Uh, I believe so. I believe we we do know what the what the other maps are. All right. I'm gonna go eat a fat bowl of ice cream while I wait for tornadoes in mid October to come destroy my home. Wow. Oh, that it's, sounds it's dramatic. After that. Good luck. Have yeah. fun. I'm out too, guys. Thanks All for right. Thanks GG, for stopping by. I'm waving at the monitor, but none of you can see. So Bye. just know that. Bye. Bye, bad luck. I'll see you later, Repair. Bye. My Bye. glorious friend, Repair Man, who I've known for years. You're truly, truly one of the shittiest. Thank you. True praise. High praise from bad luck. So yeah, I'm seeing uh, round two will be stop. And then we have throw flag for the semis and well down. Fish's map for the finals. Yes. I'm looking forward to, to throw flag. I've only played throw flag once. Yeah. And I recall enjoying it. Maybe that's changed. Maybe it's awful now. I yeah, don't who think knows? that's a, a popular is the, one. Is there a flag the one with the map that's in midair? I mean, the flag that's in midair? Yes. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Wait, is it? Or am I now misremembering? Isn't it? That's high flag, right? Maybe that's high flag. What is throw flag? Let's find out. Apparently, I have every single map in TFC. Bat says he's looking forward to benching me, so I can't play throw flag. Hey, Bat. I run the team, not you. I'll do what I want, thank you. You're benched. Also, you're banned. Oh, okay. I was thinking of high flag, not throw flag. I don't like this map. Wow, this is confusing. How do you get to the flag? Oh, God. So many elevators. Is that an enemy team only lift? Oh, no, it's a, it's a vent. Oh my god. Okay. So from the flag perch, you can throw it, hence the name throw flag, and it falls all the way down to basically the front door. This flag room looks pretty easy to defend, man. There's only... Interesting gimmick. Um, yeah. Don't know... Oh, I do remember there's playing There's so many this rooms. Yeah. There, there's, oh, there's quite a few rooms. Several of which you could probably argue are totally unnecessary. So there's this ramp room here down low. I guess this is the interbase area. There's a area. T. Yeah. Uh, Got a ramp room, a T, and then basically the wide open flag room. Okay. And there's this side entrance here. Where you completely skip the T and go up to the... Outer flag room? What on the what you even call this? The throw room. Yeah. Now there's also an I don't recall where it is located, but there's also an attic to this map here too. There's a button you yeah. can press. Look at that this room. Will... What what's the point of this room? Well that, that's the that's the attic. There's a button somewhere in the base that you, you press and it will open that up. And then oh. that's right above the flag. This is like like so, a coordination thing. Yeah, I, I guess so. I don't think that trap door stays There's open. There's a button here. That doesn't seem to do long. anything. Well, you're doing it in your own base, so that oh. probably has something yeah, to do call. with it. Let's go to the red base. Oh, 
I mean, the nice thing about playing these maps is that, like, there's not, like, a solidified in-house meta, you know? That is true. And not to say that there's a problem with that. But we need all the edges we can get over the guys playing it on house. Let's be real. Okay. And how do I actually get there? So it is. So you that throw yeah, room okay, that you were that mentioning? It. Yeah. There you go. So you just toss it down the hole. Down and now it's at the front door. The ramp room. Good stuff. Ooh, I love the outside capture point. Actually, I can see this being kind of fun. Yep. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Big maybe. I'm not, I'm not super hopeful, but we'll see. Yeah, we will. It's fun to, to play things that don't get played that often. Yeah. Um. At least partially fun to play it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yes. Well, any... Final comments, repairman, before we call it a night, week eight? I don't think so. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad we actually did get to to watch a game. Uh, it looked a little little tenuous there for a, a hot minute. I'm glad yes. both teams were able to find some ringers. Uh, yes. Thank you to everybody that, that stepped up for either team to make sure that a, a game of TFC did happen, except for bad luck. Agreed. Yeah. yeah, congrats to uh, it's my other team's fault for finishing up the regular season with the best record, only one loss. Another note, too, on the on the ladder is I think this that this was the free agent's first win. I believe that's technically correct, even so, yeah. though there was only one free agent that actually played. Well, Good job, go. free agents. They did it. Good job. <laughs> Shout out to those lovely <laughs> lads and lasses. <laughs> congrats you were right. due well we're gonna call it a night y'all uh this has been really fun thanks always to drop in thank big thanks to repairman for hosting the the cast on his stream tonight toss this man a follow when he becomes an affiliate throw this man a subscription and uh yeah um watch out for more repairman what are you gonna be doing on your stream uh i play tfc sometimes I play PUBG. I play Overwatch. I get really mad when I play Overwatch. And Those that's are the best fun. ones to watch. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then I just play some fun games. Uh, Fall Guys Season 2 is out now. Probably going to be checking that out with, uh, with some people. I know Bat said he was interested in playing that, so maybe we'll check that out pretty soon. Cool. But yeah, just fun stuff. All right. Well, we'll wrap it up so, yeah. on that. Sounds good. Fun as always, dude. And uh, good games to TFC and uh, the final week of regular season play for the TFC Beer League Season 2. We'll see y'all in the playoffs.